Hey guys, welcome back to Cool Bike Projects. Have you ever had a frame that's gotten a stress fracture, possibly a bad ding, and you thought that's the end of your frame? Well, in today's episode, we're gonna be repairing this aluminum frame with an actual re-weld. Here you can see it has a pretty bad break here in the frame, right where the dropper seat post cable came out. So we'll be taking this to a professional to have the sander down and re-welded and see what else we can do to get this bike running again. So I think the first thing we're do here is get rid of all the tape and all the accessories that have been added to this frame, clean it up a little bit, give it kind of a wash, and then we're gonna scrub down the fine areas before I drop this off to my friend to have them sand it down and uh, fix it. You never know when a bike's been broken, especially in a weird spot like this, where other stress fractures could be. So let's get to it. Looks like you used a bicycle tube on here for a homemade chain guard. This is a plus size or a boost size frame in the back. So the spacing is either 142 or 148. I'm gonna measure that real quick. And that is a 148. So I got some plans for this bike if we get this frame working again. The dropout hanger looks really good. This is a, comes from a newer time from 2017 where the hangers are much thicker and is actually mounted on the inside of the frame to keep it safe. So we're just using some soapy dishwater here. We're gonna spray the whole frame down. We'll see what we can see. So right now, I'm not trying to actually polish up the bike too much. I'm just trying to look for any spots where I can see additional lines or breaks in the frame. Because we have sticker residue here, it's easy to see what looks like another crack line, very similar to these. But I'll uh, scour this pretty good to make sure I don't see anything else. What's interesting about this frame is that there are little weep holes all over the place, especially down near the bottom bracket. Spots which allow moisture to get out of the frame in case it does get wet. And so uh, my first suspicion is that this guy's been jumping quite a bit. And in order to get a stress fracture right there, I'd take one heck of an impact or some type of a side impact to make that happen. But right now, I'm not seeing any crackings around welds or areas around the bottom bracket where you'd be suspicious. Well, I have checked all around the areas where I think there might be some issues, whether it's up here near the seat collar, down near the bottom bracket on all sides. There's lots of gusseting going on. I just can't see any stress fractures anywhere else. So, assuming we feel good about this, I'll take this over to a welder tonight. We're gonna sand down the frame on the outside edges, attempt to do a even weld all the way around where this breaks, and then we'll get this thing sandblasted and ready for paint. Before we show you the welding work, I thought now would be a great time to put in a major disclaimer. This is nothing I would suggest to someone doing without a serious professional helping you out. And even then, this is not advisable by pretty much any manufacturer of a bike frame. This is purely for the experiment of saying, could we repair this frame if we had to? And how comfortable would you feel riding it afterwards? To be fair, this brake is in a very uncommon spot. And so I'm interested to see how thin this metal is and how good the welder feels about it when it's all done. Please view this as an experiment, not as something that's regularly done.
as a professional welder, what are your first thoughts when you see a job like this? It's thin. As we talked about earlier, it's a pretty weird spot for a stress crack. It's not something you'd see. Yeah. It's not a high stress point. Right. But it is thin. Tell me again the purpose for drilling a hole to stop the spread of the crack. So you just put it right at the end of the crack? Yep, right at the right where the crack ends, as far as we can tell. Gotcha. Punch a hole and then it shouldn't spread any further in the future. Would you say of all the metals, aluminum has to be the cleanest to weld? Uh as far as common metals, there's some exotic ones that probably are a little more finicky. But yeah, yeah, it's kind of a... It seems to be a pretty dirty metal. It's kind of a beast. It's very porous. It likes to hold on to everything it's ever been in contact with. Grease, oil, dirt. So you can weld the AC like 80 amps? Mm -hmm. I'll even probably start to hold it I'm scared of the thickness of it. Sure. So we'll start real easy. We can always go up. We're going to go the other way. Do you run pedal or full amps? Just full amperage. I have a push button to Shouldn't fall off. Yeah, not coming apart. <laughs> Alright, so what does it look like when it's all done? Here you can see we have two lines. One is on the upper right side, and over on the left here, you can see it's down on the lower left. So this is not a circular break. And overall, if you're looking at puddles versus puddles on the bottom bracket, I'd say he did a phenomenal job. So is this safe enough to ride? Well, as an experiment, I think we're going to be great. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward with getting this thing sandblasted, possibly powder coated, and we'll build this up with some spare parts I have. So I'd invite you to check back in a couple weeks as we get the parts put together. This will be a fun experiment, and I think one that will generate a lot of comments. So please feel free to make your own comments down below, ask a few questions, and we'll do our best to get them answered. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next episode.